Hi, Shutter Clickers. Hey, Shutter Clickers. Today's a road trip. We're going on historic U.S. Highway 67. That's right, I said 67, not 66. Route 66 goes east and west, 67 goes north and south. Both were started, or at least numbered, uh, in the same uh, government, from the same government resource back in 1926. So one is about as old as the other. In fact, 67 may be a little older. It follows the old Southwest Trail. It starts up in Sabala, pardon the pronunciation, Sabala, Sabala, Illinois, way up in the northwest corner. It goes down through the Quad Cities, Rock Island, Illinois, and on down and it crosses the Mississippi River at Alton, Illinois. Then it bisects the southeast corner of Missouri and then starts into Arkansas uh, and it goes diagonally cutting Arkansas just about in two down through Little Rock all the way down to Texarkana. From there it goes close to Dallas and then makes a big loop down to Presidio, Texas. That's a border town and that's where 67 ends. The total is about uh, 1,350, 1,400 miles. Now we're not going to do the whole 1,400 miles today. We're going to do about 129 miles and we're going to pick 67 up just south of Little Rock at a town called Benton and we'll follow it all the way down to Texarkana. Now, I don't know if there's anything to see there or even anything to take a picture but uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out we're gonna scout it out today and see what's going on on historic US Highway 67. I'm gonna get some gear and get ready to go. John Deere tractor company and when he left somehow or another he acquired a bunch of yellow paint John Deere yellow and he decided to paint his house that color don't know whether that's true or not but that's the story anyway Highway 67 South. We're here, guys. Looking for something to shoot so far. We've been on Route 67 for about 10 miles. And it's nothing but a secondary highway. Not sure where or if we'll stop to take a picture. So far, zero. Nada, nothing. We are in the little town of Malvern and we're getting desperate, so we decided to stop here and get a picture of this old rundown house. So far, uh, nothing but a secondary highway. No vistas, nothing really to see. But we're looking, we're, we're still at it.
that population sign, I hope. So far, nothing but flatlands. It looks like the old highway right over here. Over here on the other side. The old highway before they resurfaced and put it in. That road there is probably uh, 80, 90 years old. This is a rest stop on old highway 67. This is what one of the originals looked like. Out in the center there, they had a little place to build a fire. It was built by the, it says by the National Youth Foundation in cooperation with the Arkansas Highway Department. You notice there's no facilities at all. It's just a place to pull your car off the road and take a break. Also, I want you to look at the old highway here how narrow it is and how narrow each lane is. I'm going to step it off. Each lane is about eh, seven, eight feet wide. And right here where the grass is growing, this is the center. So this is what a rest stop looked like on old Highway 7 back 67, I'm sorry, Highway 67, back some 60, 70 years ago. It's not like the great rest stops we have today, by no means. Prescott, Arkansas, and we just thought we'd stop and get a shot of this big mural somebody painted to see what it looks like. This is the Little Missouri River. I don't know how much you can see there. We'll take a walk down. Kind of peruse around and see if there's a shot here to be had. It's a pretty area. Lots of birds. I don't know if you can hear them or not on this. Part of the significance of the area is the old bridge here that was built across the river. Try to see if we can get a, a decent shot of that for you so you can see what it is. I'm not sure why it's significant, except that it's been here a long, long time and uh, it's been repaired and rebuilt and repaired and rebuilt. And as a result, it's still in good shape. 
So this is a little Missouri, and we'll see if we can't get a couple of shots here. See what's going on. I took four pictures here. I took uh, two of the tree that's kind of slanting and falling into the water over there. It's not all the way in. It's just kind of sticking out. I think you can see it from here. I was using HDR. And I, I tried to get some uh, ripples in the water so they'd be kind of like little stars in the water and then I took a couple of pic long pictures of the bridge here behind me using my wide angle uh, one at uh, 10 millimeter and then I got a little closer and took one at about uh, 35 millimeter so uh, we'll see if there's something uh, unique or something desirable here. hope so. Anyway, we're going to keep on trucking. We're about 40 miles from Texarkana right now. And uh, we're going to try to have lunch down there. We're back on the interstate now, and we are headed home. We drove 161 miles down, and we got another 118 miles to go. Taking the interstate the easy way this time. Catch you back up with you when I get home. a mile left turn onto Barcelona Road then in one tenth of a mile right turn right turn ahead onto getaway Left turn onto Pasilla Way. Then in one tenth of a mile, left turn. Well, we're back where we started from. We've been gone seven hours and 40 minutes and covered 299.6 miles. You know, our motto is F8 and V there. Well, the F8, you know, is our equipment. And our equipment was good. I took everything we had and I used four of my five lenses even though I didn't need to. But I like to use them. It makes me feel like I didn't waste my money. Now, the being there part, well, I've already told you, 
Highway 67 is flat as a pancake. There, there weren't any vistas. Uh, there weren't any really landscape type pictures worthy of, of taking a picture of. Uh, I did get a few images and it was mostly documentary type images uh, looking at what Highway 67 was all about. Uh, in that aspect, no pictures, yeah, it was kind of a disappointment. But like Ben Horn and Thomas Heaton and Doug Garner always say, it's not about the pictures, it's about the experience. And I think we had a good experience today. The pictures will be showing at the, at the end of the uh, video. And uh, if, if you like what you're seeing and you're realizing that, you know, I'm the world's worst photographer, so it should make you feel good by watching my stuff. Uh, snapshots is about all I got today. So uh, if you like it, why well, push that big red button that says subscribe. You know, your support, not monetary, but your support in knowing that you're there looking uh, means everything to me. So please uh, subscribe and uh, next time uh, we're going to do a video on Lake Wachita. One of the largest lakes, man-made lakes in the country and one of the clearest. So I'll be seeing you then, but in the meantime, keep that shutter clicking.